Now you'll learn to enter an address using the system's built-in voice recognition technology. In this example, we will input the address 1630 West 186th Street in Gardena, California. Note that the vehicle does not have to be stopped to enter an address through voice recognition, but please try this method first while the vehicle is parked, and then use this feature only when it does not distract from your driving. For the system's voice recognition feature to understand your voice, there are a few things to keep in mind. All voice recognition commands need to be made in English, regardless of the language selected for voice guidance assistance. Speak in a clear, regular voice. Numerical street names must be pronounced fully. For our example, the address is pronounced as West 186th Street and not West 186th Street. A house or building number, like 1630, must be pronounced as single digits. One, six, three, zero. Now, to begin a voice recognition session, select the voice command button on the steering wheel. The system responds with a voice prompt. Please say the command after beep. Wait for the beep. And then say, address. The system responds with, System will search for your address. To continue, please say the state name after briefly pushing the talk switch. Press the voice command button. The system responds with, Please say the state name. Wait for the beep. Then say, California. The system acknowledges. California. Then it searches for the state. Next, the system prompts, to continue, please say the city name or change state after briefly pushing the talk switch. Press the voice command button. The system responds with, Please say the city name or change state. Wait for the beep. Then say, Gardena. The system acknowledges. Gardena. Then it searches for the city. The system prompts, to continue, please say the street name or change city after briefly pushing the talk switch. Press the voice command button. The system responds with, Please say the street name or change city. Wait for the beep. Then say, West 186th Street. The system acknowledges, West 186th Street. Then, the system prompts, to continue, please say the house number or change street after briefly pushing the talk switch. Press the voice command button. The system responds with, Please say the house number using single digits or change street. Wait for the beep. Then say 1630. The system acknowledges. 1630. Once you have successfully entered the address of your destination, the system prompts To continue, please say enter destination or change house number after briefly pushing the talk switch. Press the voice command button. The system responds with Please say enter destination or change house number. Wait for the beep. Then say enter destination. The system responds with Calculating routes to the destination. Now, guidance will start automatically using Quick 1. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. One of the most valuable features of the Toyota navigation system is its ability to find points of interest. Everything from gas stations and ATMs to restaurants, hotels, and amusement parks. As you navigate around the system, you'll find that points of interest, or POI, are available in map mode by selecting the Map View button. And they are also available from the destination screen. There are some subtle differences between the two that you should be aware of. First, the points of interest available when you press the Map View button at the bottom of the map screen can be selected while you're driving. 
But please try this first while the vehicle is parked, and then use this feature only when it does not distract from your driving. In contrast, the points of interest that are accessed from the destination screen can only be entered as a destination while the vehicle is stopped. Points of interest on the map voice screen are accessed by pressing the map voice button. Then press the map view button. Next, press the display POI icon button. A screen appears that lists some of the following choices. Gas station, ATM, restaurant, parks, grocery store, hotel, and other POIs. For this example, if you want to find the closest gas station, press the gas station button. Then press OK. Now gas station icons will appear on the map screen if you're zoomed in to one half mile or closer. If you're zoomed in too close, you may not see any gas station icons at your current location. Simply zoom out by pressing on the minus sign to see the icons. Some icons may display the trademark of the business at that location. If you press on a particular gas station icon and then press the info button, it will show you information about that facility, such as the street address and phone number. Please note that not all points of interest will have a telephone number listed. Also, in some areas, points of interest may not appear. That means that particular area either does not have any points of interest that match the available categories, they have not been mapped yet, or the business or location does not subscribe to the database service. If you'd like to be guided to the selected gas station, you would simply press the Enter button, and then Guide. Finally, if the map voice screen has become too cluttered with too many POI icons, you can turn the icons off. Press Map View on the map screen, then press Display POI icon. Finally, press Delete at the top of the screen. Let's enter a point of interest as a destination using its name. It's important to remember that you can only enter points of interest accessed from the destination screen while you're stopped. Let's say we're looking to set our destination as the Six Flags Amusement Park in Valencia, California. Since there may be multiple Six Flags Amusement Parks within the current search area, it helps to be able to specify the name and the city of the particular Six Flags you're targeting. This way, the system will narrow the search of the particular point of interest you're setting as your destination. Valencia, California is located within the search area US2, so be sure your search area is also set to US2. Let's start by pressing the Destination button. Then press POI Name. Now enter the name. Six Flags. Enter S I X then enter a space. Keep your eye on the area to the right of the name input area where the number 99 is indicated. This means that the system has 99 points of interest stored that start with the word 6. As you spell out the name more completely, this number will become smaller to indicate the number of matches in the system. When the number no longer gets smaller as you spell the name, and only a single active letter remains on the keyboard, it means the system has retrieved all the possible matches for the letters or words entered. When you notice this, you often don't have to continue spelling out the complete name, a feature that you may find to be quite convenient. To see how this feature works, continue by entering F, L. Notice there are currently 25 matches in the system. Then enter A. Now, even if you continue entering the remaining G, S, the number of matches will remain at 25, so you could select the list button at this point without having to spell out the whole word flags. Now select list, select city, then press input city name. The city name is Valencia. Valencia is automatically displayed before you have completed spelling the name. Press on the Valencia, California button. We want Six Flags Magic Mountain, so select that listing. On the map screen, press Enter. Then Guide. 
and the system will begin to guide you to Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. To clear this destination from your system, press the Map Voice button. Press Route. Then press Delete, listed under Destination, and confirm your choice by pressing Yes. Let's enter a point of interest, or POI, using the system's built-in voice recognition technology. Note that the vehicle does not have to be stopped to enter a POI through voice recognition. Therefore, please try this method first while the vehicle is parked, and then use this feature only when it does not distract from your driving. Remember, all voice recognition commands need to be made in English, regardless of the language selected for voice guidance assistance. In this example, we will enter the nearest Italian restaurant POI. Let's start the voice recognition session by selecting the voice command button on the steering wheel. The system responds with a voice prompt. Please say the command after beep. Wait for the beep. Then say, nearest Italian restaurant. The system responds with, Searching for nearby Italian restaurant icons. The system shows the closest Italian restaurant's information. Then the system prompts, To continue, please say enter destination after briefly pushing the talk switch. If you'd like to be guided to this restaurant, press the voice command button. The system responds with, Please say enter destination to confirm. Now say enter destination. The system responds with, Calculating routes to the destination. Now, guidance will start automatically using Quick 1. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. As you become more familiar with the system, you may find it isn't necessary to hear all the voice prompts to enter a command when using voice recognition. To turn voice recognition guidance off, press Menu. Then press Setup. Scroll to screen 2 of 3. Then select the Off button to the right of the voice recognition guidance. Finally, press OK.